You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and stay in tune with all the latest content, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Salute to my guy Showtime SP and salute to every single one of y'all for watching this content. Happy Thanksgiving. Hope y'all enjoy y'all holiday to the best of y'all ability. Y'all make sure y'all stay cool and stay safe out there. Don't get yourself in no trouble. You know, a lot of people be drinking and driving. I wouldn't want to hear nothing bad about any of y'all. So let's go. Um, Hitman Holla. Hitman Holla. Salute to Hitman Holla and everything that he does on Wildin' Out. Personally and professional, Hitman Holla is a... Uh, one of our big, big, big superstars in battle rap. He's one of the people that has transcended the culture. He has went to higher levels. He has took his career, moved it up there to wildin' now, and this is just juice. We ain't, we ain't turning up yet. We will be turning up later, but for the now, it's not. Uh, turn, you know, transitioned his career, changed his life, helped out his family, and he's done a lot of things for himself. And um, one of the things I will commend him on is the fact that he still continues to battle. And not only does he battle, he continues to battle at a very high level. There's a lot of people who, when they get on and they do bigger things, they'll come back and dibble and dabble and in battle rap with their careers don't really be like that and the hunger don't be there. So a lot of the time people be saying, well, why we don't see conceited? Why we don't see conceited? And I always say that I don't feel like he has it in him anymore. Can he still rap? Of course he can still rap, but I don't feel like he has the hunger to jump in there with young, talented MCs like Rum Nitties or Av and these cats that's really going to give you a run for your money. So I respect him for staying where he's at, doing what he does, and just, you know, moving on with his career. But Hitman Holler, he still shows the hunger to get in that ring. Okay, so what are we here to talk about? Him calling out Loaded Lux. Hitman Holler, obviously, um, A-Verb just battled Loaded Lux. To many... Averb got that, but when the battle came out on the footage, you know, a lot of people got Loaded Lux winning, but it could honestly be debated. I could easily be like, I got Averb winning the second and third, or I could flip it back and be like, I got Loaded Lux winning the first and second. I mean, it's just so many ways. That's why it's good to have battles that are truly debatable. So Hey Man Holla goes on to say, what he say, Bada? Just say what he said. Okay, I'm going to say what he said, but let me say what I'm saying before I say what he said. You get it? Okay, we got it. Um... I haven't called out anyone my whole career, not one time. With that being said, at Loaded Lux, at him. He got at him to get at him whenever you ready. Whenever you ready. I think that uh, these are obviously two superstars in battle rap. I mean, super duperty tippity tippity top tiers that um, it could be a very entertaining battle, but Hitman Holla, you know, he has a lot of bars as far as like aggressive and performance and things like that, but he can actually rap like bars bars you've seen him versus um bill collector you know i got the tommy with the red tommy with the white you know green with the tommy like the white ranger yeah i got the green with the tommy like the white i'm so used to i'm not used to hitman holla having such crazy intricate bars and when he said it, i was like oh shit he can he can he can get crazy in a small room he did it versus um bill collector and um to, for him to potentially be calling out loaded lux the reason why i'm even talking about this is because when hitman speak people listen you know, he speaks volumes. Volumes? Could it be on a volume? Maybe. Hold on, hold on. I don't know. But uh, to see Hitman back in a one-on-one -on -one situation with potentially a loaded Lux, uh, that would be crazy. Big stage, Hitman has the distinct advantage. Hitman has an advantage over damn near everybody on the big stage. I don't. He's one of the few artists that I don't... I would not pick against Hitman on a big stage. Nope, 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 nope. I've seen him on a big stage multiple times, and for the most part, he's pretty much unscathed. One of his cleaner performances was him versus K Shine. Like, that building was shaking. You told me not to talk about your baby mother or your daughter, nigga. But I smash your baby moms in front of your daughter, nigga. Oh, it was. Oh, help shine, help shine, help shine, help shine around this motherfucker. Oh, shine was sick. And he was fighting an uphill battle after the first line. You know what I'm saying? He said, uh, you know. I got the prop gun here. I got the prop gun here. You smack me and you gonna die tonight. Like, that first round was casket closing. So, um, would I like to see a Lord of Lux versus a Hitman Holler? Of course. Of, of, of course. Of course I would like to see it. But, um, I would like to see it more so in a small room. I've never seen, you never seen Hitman on a volume series. You never seen it. A uh, distinct advantage in a small room would obviously be a, a loaded Lux, but uh, it would be a battle that if it was booked, I'm sure everybody would tune in for. But I'm just surprised because Hitman Holla, who has been called out a lot in his career, 
He's been called out by a lot of people, has never called anybody out. And for him to call somebody out, it must be a battle that he must be excited for. If it was to happen, he would be looking forward to. And I know he would give his A game. That's the one thing I will say about uh, Hitman Holla. He does bring his A game. You're never going to see him. Like, even when he battles on, like, these small, like, he takes a few every now and then. Shaky hand. He takes a few every now and then with uh, these small leagues. He took the, the dude from jail and all of that. He's still going to come and he's still going to rap bars and bring the performance that he should bring. And it's good to see people like Hitman Hollis, Charlie Clipses, Conceited, as they transition and go on to bigger and better things, still come back and give, you know, the battle rap culture what they need, you know what I mean? What they need as far as uh, being able to have that access to a viable star. I think that's very important as far as when you're building something, you want to have People that have made it to the next level still be able to come back and, um, you know, give good love, support, and um, advice to the younger folks that are coming up. And even some battles, you know what I'm saying? It's, it may, it'd be good to see them get in front of them and smoke them a little bit too, you know what I'm saying? Um, New Jersey Twerk, he spoke out about recycling, the recycling bars thing. He was pretty much apologizing for it, or whatever the case may be, mostly because he got caught, you know what I'm saying? More, that was pretty much... He, he basically said that he was apologizing because he got caught. Uh, that's not gonna be my last fuck up. Recycling, that's gonna be my last time doing it. If I didn't get caught, I'd probably do it again. If I didn't get caught recycling, I would've probably did it again. You know what I'm saying? But now, like, that is brought to the light. Now I'm like, oh, damn, damn, fucked up, I got caught. Nah, I mean, I can't do that shit. When I show up, I get it in the two, two fresh rounds. I might have recycled it, maybe. The Maybe a bar in the first round, I'm not sure. I don't I don't get don't quote me. But I definitely recycle. When I showed the Orlando got as God is my witness, I had absolutely no material. Which is not an excuse. I fucked up. That's, that should never be the case. I mean, I shouldn't be doing that shit, but it's either you know what I mean? I, I could have just not showed up and then I would have killed me for that. I showed up. But I, I had to show up. So I showed up, I did the best I could, you know what I'm saying? My third round was, you know, my third round was, it was a, it was actually a mix between some recycle shit and some shit I had just came up with. But, you know, like, you know, that shit happened, you know, that was my fault. I mean, it won't happen again, but it's like, bro, y'all really have to understand, this is not an excuse to mind that the shit was wrong, I shouldn't have did it. But y'all really got to understand, like, I really feel like I'm a top 10 and nobody works as hard as me. Whether it's for money or whatever. For recycling bars or whatever the case may be. Um, and it's been like in a couple of battles. I never, I mean, I've seen like maybe a little sparks and things here and there. But when I seen the one versus Swave Sever, I spoke about it. You know, he probably got in his feelings. He may have blocked me. Who knows? I mean, I don't know. I, I don't care. I don't really. Twitter is, is, is Twitter, you know what I'm saying? But YouTube is really where I get my point across. But, um, you know, I've heard, you know, he's probably blocking people and getting mad that people have an opinion about it. But it's like this. You got to battle like Sway. I paid for the pay-per-view to see him versus Sway. I recapped the battle of him versus Sway. I was excited to see him versus Sway. Um, I thought it was a good battle. But when it comes back around and replays and it's all these bars that's recycled, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you turn a blind eye to it or pretend you don't see it, like, people will start to call you out. Like, how are you recapping this battle without admitting it? Like, you, you see it. I know you see it. Come on, now you see what's going on. So, I mean, it is what it is. I saw it, I recapped it, and I gave the battle to Swave. I think that's uh, that's the right thing to do. I think it's to a point now when if these artists are recycling, that we have to call it like we call it, and we can't give rounds to people who are recycling. And I think one of the, the Charlemagne the God line was on his song. It was on a song. Like, Whatever, man. But like I said, I don't care about followers or like if somebody follows or blocks you because you're you, you, if you're doing this at a high level, people are gonna be emotional about your opinion, and it is what it is. But I think um, <clears throat> moving forward, like he says, he's taking a lot of these battles because uh, their their money moves and to take care of his family, and I get it. But uh, you can take as many battles as you want, as long as you know you bring a dope material. Nobody can't say nothing about it. Geechee battles a lot. But you don't see Geechee out there just using stuff from like his ignorant, make them ignorant or no studio in three. Like, come on, if Geechee was doing the same thing, we'd be on him same way. Danny choked in two, three battles in a row. I went crazy on him. You know what Danny, me and Danny did? We got on the phone, we talked about it, we laughed, and he said he's focused for Hollow. 
that's the difference between a lot of these MCs. Like, you could say they lost or you could call them out for whatever the case may be and they won't get emotional, but then there's other niggas who get like, you know, they getting their feelings and shit. Like, if you say something, you supposed to just, you supposed to, they expect you to just, you know, brush everything to the side and it's supposed to be all good and they supposed to be just doing this shit. And life don't work like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just doesn't work like that. If you want to say the same rhymes over and over, you should be like Snoop Dogg and just go on world tours and just be a rapper rapping. And you can get paid to say the same songs every night for the rest of your life. But in battle rap, it just don't work like that. <whistles> Sorry. Um, but yeah, um, he apologized for it. He basically apologized for getting caught. And I'm um, saying that he won't do it again, but it is what it is. Uh, but more so, that, that's just letting y'all know that it is out. The audio is out. Um, the full audio, I guess somebody like, a couple people like screenshotted him on IG Live or whatever. And my thing is this, even if he's getting his feelings about people talking about it, it is what it is. I could still judge and analyze your battles and still be a fan of someone, even if they're in their feelings. It doesn't matter because we're here to talk about the battles, the bars, the breakdowns. I think Showtime SP said he blocked him too. I didn't even know who he knew who he was, you know what I'm saying? But uh, it is what it is. You're gonna, that's gonna happen. But you know what? Good luck versus Av. Hope you bring your A game. It is what it is. But um, just wanna give y'all that update. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody out there, man. Um, happy Thanksgiving. Hope you guys uh, eat well and um, stay out of trouble and stay safe. Um, salute to all of the subscribers, that notification gang, everybody that subscribed to the channel. Um, there's stuff going on between Math Hoffa and Hollow the Dawn, too. It's just way too much about that LOM clothing. This LOM clothing I got from Hollow the Dawn. I didn't get from Math Hoffa, so I don't really even know what that's about. And I really don't care to get into it because that's their personal thing. I don't really... I'm more so about battles and bars and breakdowns and stuff like that. I really try to shy away from the personal business stuff. You owe this person money and I don't really get into all of that. That's not really my thing, so I'm, I think I'm going to stay away from that. Uh, unless something crazy comes out that y'all need to know about. But other than that, I'm going to just stay away from it. I seen Hollow's video. He made a long ass post on IG. I think he deleted it. And then Math Hoffa dropped the video. It's just so much. It's just way too much shit going on with that. Uh, I got mine from Hollow to Dawn, so it is what it is. And salute to um, everybody that watches this content. RiceGame.MyShopify.com. Log on. I'm gone. Bow. Can I still say bow? Or, 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 or Jersey. <laughs> 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 <laughs>